Well, this is just how we planned it to work. We're able to move the toolbox and everything out of the way so we can get in here with the tractor and don't have to do this by hand. Might not be obvious, but this is the workbench and tool storage area of our shop. We don't plan to have tractors in this area very often, but it's nice to be able to get in here to get to these top shelves. I chose a 3046R because of its lift height. I knew that it would be able to reach up there and do the job for us. I put that transmission down in the low range or the A range, and it's so smooth. The hydraulic control feels different than my other machines. However, I'm able to control it smoothly with just a little bit of practice. Slow and steady wins the race on these types of projects. Don't be in a hurry. Yep, we're getting this styrofoam and OSB down. Gonna use it on a project here today. Let's get started. That's right, no three-point ballast again for this part. We needed every bit of uh, maneuverability we could get. And I know with the rim guard, we got a lot of rim guard in these tires and the wheel weights, that was gonna be fine. But I still say you gotta have rear ballast. So what are we doing today? We are putting up a little wall here. It's actually gonna be a wall and a door Still part of our long-term organization here in this shop. If you can see behind me, well, you see a lot of clutter, right? But there's one thing there that's kind of prominent, and that's a lot of hydraulic hoses. So we think we've got a way to store hydraulic hoses here in this big door. The other thing we're trying to solve is to hide the furnace a little bit. That's kind of twofold. One is for looks, right? It, it's always looked kind of cluttered just to see the furnace out in the open. The other is to try to reduce the noise just a little bit. For some of our videos, you, when your furnace comes on, you can definitely hear it in the audio. So we'd like to muffle that just a little bit. Don't know how much we'll be able to accomplish that, but that's what we're gonna do. I've already started here, and I got this two before Walt built a, a little bit here. It doesn't have to be very strong. It's not holding anything except for this door. So we're gonna put some insulation in it. Going to put some OSB on this side and the door over here. Well, we about got our insulation put up. It's not uh, very professional, but it doesn't matter for this. We're just using it for sound. That's really all we're needing this insulation for. We don't need it for temperature control at all. Just a little bit of sound isolation. Okay. Now, are we as close to the wall as we can get up there? I think so. So Christy's got a little block she's marking. This wall is crooked as can be. It bows out and then back in and I think it makes an S before it gets to the floor. So she's gonna mark along there and then we'll cut on that mark and hopefully that makes a perfect fit. Now when we get on down here, there's an outlet. Just it step out around it yeah, and mark in front of it. Just mark in front of it. And then you can hand draw the little angle at the appropriate place when you... So the outlet cover actually is in the way of this wall. I wouldn't do this in a house, but I'm just gonna trim out a little bit of this uh, OSB to go around that outlet cover. I don't know if you can see the line or not, but it's off by... A lot. Inch and a half, and it's been like that all the way down. Look at that. How Looks it like look? it was uh, made for it. Does it look pretty good, seriously? Yeah. Okay, it's in. Now what do we look like? It looks good to me. Good enough. Now we'll just mark the back side. I need the new IsoTunes Link Aware. I'm still using my originals, but if I had the aware in, I wouldn't have to take them in and out. 
Oh, because they they're aware of when I'm talking to you? Yeah, and they, they switch off when you talk to me. Ha uh ha. -huh. Automatically, it's got a wife control mechanism. You just switch that mode on, and then anytime your wife says anything, you don't hear a thing. You really, it's, it's not much different than normal. You remember that box that we took out? That was the cat bed? That. She didn't even catch that. I did. You're sleeping out here uh -oh. tonight with the cat. No, seriously, for the aware, the uh, if it's a loud noise, it will stop it. Oh, okay. So it would, it would stop the saw. It's meant for loud, instant noises, like the hitting of a hammer. Okay. But I've found that it works for consistent noises too, like a saw or a tractor when it's wide open throttle. Yeah, nice. You know, I just got my names wrong. I said Link Aware. Link are the headphones. These are the Freeze, Isotune Free Aware. That's the new product. Okay. So the ones that go in your ear, yeah. just buds. No wires. No wires. So okay. they're free. Well, they're not free. You have to pay for them, but. Well, they're free, though. Yeah. You know. Wire free. Well, it would be nice if they were free. You do get a discount, though. Yes. Coupon code <laughs> TTWT gets you 10% off per pair. Of course, one wouldn't do you a whole lot of good. Isotunesaudio.com slash TTWT. And don't forget code TTWT. And you too won't have to listen to your wife. Hey, watch it. This uh, OSB that I'm putting on here was, it's a uh, antique OSB. It was purchased when OSB was reasonably priced. Now the new stuff is gold plated. Yeah. I'm not sure we'll be able to buy any more. This wasn't square at all, and then I think I might have, you know, even the, the top wasn't square where we, where we started putting the OSB, so we ended up having to cut off of, yeah, two sides of it until we got to the bottom. We had to cut some, who knows what shape off of that, so. Yeah. If you're a better carpenter, you have to cut less. Uh, we didn't build this building, though. Yeah, I, I can't take all the blame for uh, no. this stuff not being square. I had no, no input on that. I put this OSB on the face here just so it would look like the rest of it when we get done. So this is what you're going to see on the outside of the door. Yep. What do you think, Bolsey? Yeah. Okay, Christy, can you come over here and let's get, these, get this all lined up. You're happy there? Yeah. What do you think, Bullseye? You're not going to participate once we get no. the power tools going, are you? You ran away. Hey, Dad. I should have listened to you more when I was helping you out in the shop. Yeah. Me too. I should have listened to Dad more too. I imagine most people can say that once they grow up. They say, wow, I wish I'd have listened. Yep. Wish I would have applied myself a little more and tried to learn what was going on. Yeah. Instead of goofing around, grouching about having to work. My dad watches every, every time we uh, post a video, so this one's for you, Dad. I'm trying to, to carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how it works on that wheel. Okay, okay do you think you guys can move it? Okay. Towards. Toward, toward me. Looks okay. like we can. Is that all you got, Bill? Yep. Okay. Okay. Didn't think about. It'll hold. It's supposed to be up now. Yeah. If it falls over now, we got a problem. <laughs> Let's see if it will hinge. Is there anything that needs to be changed before I bolt it in? I don't think so. I don't either. Because I mean, if you can't do anything about the floor being no. like that. We're going with three hinges. I don't know if that's enough or not, but they're big hinges. Yeah, they're big hinges. We're bolting them through. They're 5 16 bolts going all the way through, except for only two. I had to lag two of them because it would have been too far to got a bolt to reach. But other than that, they're bolted all the way through. I think this is going to be a strong enough foundation to hold the door. 
we have found a problem that the floor is not level. Um, and we knew that the floor is not level overall. So the wheel hits the ground in one part, but as you open the door, it, it doesn't. And it's not because my wall is not level. We used some big wood screws to temporarily hold it up before we bored these holes and everything, because that took longer. Thrilled to have Bill and Vanessa over to help us. This would have been, I think, a little more than Christy and I wanted to try to tackle. Now, we don't have any latch mechanism over there. Uh, hopefully the door will just stay shut on its own, and I think it will. Worst case, we can use the lock on the wheel. Uh, the crazy wheel's got a lock on it. Tom Sawyer strikes again. Somehow you always get other people to paint for you. <laughs> Got two people painting for me now. It's getting better. Yeah. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Where quality meets value, worldamerican.com. It's an air hose display holder. Took me a long time. Googling things to actually find something we thought might work that'll hold more than one at a time. And I thought I ordered just two racks. We got two cases. Well, we thought they were pretty expensive per for one. rack. I mean, it was $30 for a rack. But for a whole case of, of them, that's pretty good value. Yeah, but I went back and looked and nowhere did it say it was a case. It just said quantity one. It does seem like I may need some sort of a latch here. It wants to come out a little bit, just a three quarters or an inch. It's probably not a big deal. Are you getting into your bolt bin? I am. Very nice to have a bolt and nut selection. Now, of course, these that I'm using now are carriage bolts, so they're not in the collection. It's hard to have everything you need, but at least I have the nuts, I have the flat washers. Um, it's, it's just really nice to have a selection. Yeah, and heavyhitch.com still has a few of these kits available. Coupon code TTWT for a 5% discount. I think it's a great compromise between being cost effective and yet uh, having the selection we need. It's not as much volume as what you see from the big guys, but it's also a little bit cheaper. Now, it's not inexpensive by any means. We understand that. But when I started adding up how much time I spend going to the hardware store just to get a few bolts and then I don't get back to the project, you know how it goes. Um, so valuable to me. So, so far you only have one that's longer than the door. Yeah. And again, I don't think that's gonna be a concern. We've got two approaches. One is to just loop the hose back up among itself, right? Another is to put another one of those racks in and hook the other end in it. Maybe over here or? Looks to me like you got a lot more hoses to store. Oh, it's not that many, come on. Why do you have so many hoses? Well, we try a bunch of those different hydraulic kits and we've had different diverters over time, different third function kits, um, some accessory hose kits that we've shown for discounthydraulichose.com and summit-hydraulics.com. So yeah, there's just, uh... and then some of these are, you take off a loader when you add a single point connector. If we ever have to put the loader back to its standard state, we would need those again. Ta-da! This is what we got. That's as far open as it goes. It doesn't stay completely closed. Well, there it did. Well, it comes out about an inch. So less than perfect, but hey, good enough for who it's for. We got one more hose to mount, and it's heavy enough that I don't think it'll work on these racks. So we're gonna have to get a, some sort of a code hook or something and put up there. And I think we'll put it right along the side here. These are from the Hardy Brush Tiger. So they're larger hoses and they've got these protectors on the outside, kind of heavy. I think it's gonna work well. How many came off? None. Oh, okay. It was just the bottoms of them hitting the wall here. I like it, they're all hidden. 
They're all out of the way. It's got a clean look about it. It sounds like it's disaster in there, but it's not. It's just the hose is hitting. I'll show you what it is. Oh, that's not bad. No, it, it, it sounds like it's a major issue, but it's not. It's just that type of thing right there. As far as sound improvement, we haven't done a real test of anything, but we think it improves it some. The side where we put the insulation over here really dampened it a lot. Uh, this part we didn't want to put insulation in because we, we had purpose for the back of the wall. We talked about putting some styrofoam back there. We haven't done so yet. I don't know if that'll help. We're also talking about maybe putting another wall over here to catch some of the rest of it. But hey, new wall, new door. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. What do you think, Bolsey? Yeah. Okay, Christy, can you come over here and let's get these get this all lined up. Thanks, Bolsey. You help hold it down. What do you think, Bullseye? You're not going to participate once we get the power tools going, are you? No. 